Hey guys, welcome back and if you're new to my channel, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be testing out some new Australian drugstore makeup. These videos are one of my favourites to film. I love trying out new products that hit the Australian shores, although we are usually quite behind <laughs> compared to the US, but it's alright. I've got one, two, three, four, five products here today that we are going to be testing out. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching and if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads and I will link a whole bunch of other testing drugstore videos down below because I got a few. The first product I'm going to be testing today is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Now the Mint Collection was released in Australia a few weeks ago now and there was an eyeshadow or maybe two eyeshadow palettes. Um, oh my god, I'm completely blanking on what else there was. There were some other things, but I was most excited about this primer as I had heard really good things online. I have only tested it out once before and I don't even remember, so let's give it another go. Ooh, so this is what the texture ah, <laughs> looks like. It's quite runny. It does have a tacky feel in my fingers. I'm just going to pat it into my skin, I think. Now, when you hear mint in beauty products, my mind automatically goes to that cooling sensation, but sometimes the cooling sensation burns. I actually brought a mint body wash. I don't know what I was thinking because, ooh, it burnt my bits. <laughs> but this, it does feel cool on the skin, but it doesn't burn. It's definitely tacky. I don't know if you can see the way my fingers come off my skin. That's quite tacky. Mm. It does feel nice though. And it's definitely hydrating because I can see that there's a bit of a glow to my skin. The next product is a very new release to Australia and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Now I did look up reviews online for this before I purchased it and they were so mixed. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to get here. I did ask you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see the Maybelline Fit Me or the NYX Bear With Me in action first and Maybelline won. So if you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram because I also asked you about the mascara and the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using in today's video as well. Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Here's some information about Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Thank you. Maybelline Fit oh. Me Tinted Moisturizer provides natural coverage and shine. Why does it keep talking? Hydration. Like, tch, tch, tch. so it says online that it's going to give you the perfect no makeup makeup look. It's suitable for all skin types. And it comes in a total of 10 shades. I do notice when it comes to like tinted moisturizers and BB creams, they definitely limit the shade range because from my understanding, they're meant to be a bit more like versatile. I don't know. But anyway, I picked up the fairest shade called 103. It's quite fair. Not really a runny consistency. Mmm. Mmm. I'm excited. I think I'm actually going to use a brush to apply this one because I don't want a sponge to shear it out too much. My face is still pretty tacky from the um, primer. Okay, I'm liking that shade. Very fair, that's nice. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, okay. <laughs> it's been 0.3 seconds and I've already run into a problem. Do you see this patchiness? Like it's not blending. Oh. One of the biggest complaints on any reviews I read was that it was patchy. So let me try with my sponge. Like, what? What is that? What is that? <gasps> no. I don't even know what to do. Okay, let me just try Try again. Let's quickly, quickly go in here. Oh my God, no. 
<gasps> oh no. Okay. <laughs> Let's think logically here for a second. Oh, but I really want to try out the melt primer. Okay, look. I'm gonna go take this off and I'm going to try the Maybelline without the mint primer because it is a tacky primer. So it could be why it's looking like that. Oh my God, it looks so bad. Let me just try my forehead. Okay, let's just. No, look at that. It just doesn't blend. All right, I've taken that off and re-moisturized. So let's try again without the primer. Mm. It looks better on my cheek, but my chin, it still looks really dry. As soon as I go in with a brush, it just, it's super dry and patchy and it just struggles to blend. See how I'm getting this line here? This is a big fat no from me. <laughs> all right, let's, let's get up close and personal, all right? Do you see here, I had that little line before, I've gone over it with some more foundation and the sponge and it is just patchy. Look at my nose, patchy. Here, patchy. Even my forehead, it just, it's covering a little bit of the redness, but my pores just look shocking. And along my hairline here, you guessed it, patchy. Look how dry it looks here. I'm gonna go wash this off again. And we're gonna try the NYX Bear With Me instead. Bear with me. <laughs> All right, let's try again with a new product. So as I said, this is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. It retails for $25.95 and it comes in eight shades. I picked up the shade Vanilla Nude. Now this says it provides a fresh faced look, uh, seamless coverage, breathable weightless formula, skin looks luminous, and it has an eight hour wear time. It has similar packaging to the Maybelline with a squeezy tube. So let's squeeze some out here. This is what the shade looks like. Now I'm not going to put the e.l.f. primer on again. That's blending out much better. Much, much better. It's blending nicely over some of my breakouts here. It's not clinging at all. And I would say it has a light to medium coverage. I do have quite a bit of redness and breakouts at the moment and I can definitely still see them, but it's what I expect from this product. I do think it's something that's a bit more lightweight natural. I'm not the biggest fan of the squeezy tube packaging though when it comes to foundations because you just don't know how much you're using and I feel like I'm constantly squeezing out more and more and I'm like okay have I used equivalent of like four pumps now or what? <laughs> All right let me turn the lights off again and show you how this one looks. So as I said you can still see my real skin peeping through there but it does look very glowy. Look at that. Ooh. I think the shade is a little bit off for me, like the undertone. I'm still not like in love. I think just because I prefer more coverage, but let me just apply a second layer and see how it goes. Oh, okay. Oh my God. That was just really stressful. <laughs> so it's a big fat no to the Maybelline, but the NYX bear with me. I'm liking it so far. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face and I'll be back to do the eyes. All right. So I've started going in with the Astralis Glamour eyeshadow palette, just using this brown shade here and I'm putting that through my crease and I'm also going to put it on the lower lash line and then I'm going to go in with the new elf metallic liquid shadows now if you've been around my channel for a while you would know how much I love the liquid glitter eyeshadows from elf they are an absolute dupe for the steel ones and only ten dollars they're amazing and so when I saw that elf had released the metallic versions I picked up a few shades to try so the first shade here is moon and this is what it looks like 
Oh, and the light hits it. That is so beautiful. And then the next shade is called Little Dipper. And this is a pinky shade. When I asked on my Insta stories, you guys said you wanted to see this one in action. So this is what it looks like. So beautiful. They feel really smooth and creamy as well when they dry down. I'm not seeing any cracking on my hands. So hopefully we have the same experience on the lids. All right, I'm going to apply it straight off the wand. And then I'll probably just use a brush to clean it up a bit. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So I'm just putting a little bit of the product onto my brush to try and blend out the edges. I feel as though it's getting a little bit patchy. I haven't really worked much with liquid, like metallic shadows though, so I'm not really sure like the best way to apply them. I just kind of want to tap the edges to get a bit more of a smooth blend. So yeah, I feel as though it's a little bit patchy on the lid. Maybe now if I go over it and just smooth things out. I don't know. What do you think? I might let it dry down and then try and blend the edges just a touch more. Okay, I feel as though I was able to blend this side out a little bit easier. I do think you have to work quick when it comes to blending. But now that this side is dried down, it does look patchy. Look at that. Ah! It doesn't look good. Maybe I've put too much on because this side looks better. Still a little bit patchy in my crease. Look, I don't think I'm loving them as much as the liquid glitter shadows. I might even have to put a bit of a shimmer over the top to set it in place perhaps. All right, that'll do for the eyes. I definitely think it needed that powder shadow on top to set them in place. Looks all right, looks all right. The next product I am the most excited about and have been dying to try it ever since I bought it a few weeks ago, and this is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This went super viral on TikTok and Instagram. First of all, I freaking love the packaging. It's so beautiful. Now it does have a rubber wand and it's very bendy. <laughs> Mmm, looks good so far. I naturally do have longer lashes, so in a mascara I look for something that still lengthens them, but I want them to look volumized and not clumpy. I hate a clumpy, dull looking lash. Okay, this is coating everything nice and evenly. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, I'll let that dry while I do the other eye. I do think it's gotten a little bit clumpy on this side, on that second layer. So I might get a spoolie and just brush it out. They look great. Oh, I'm excited. Maybelline always makes really good mascaras. I don't know what it is. Okay, it's not applying the best to my bottom lashes, but I am a little bit scared of this rubber wand. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go in with a touch more on the top lashes and see if it makes or breaks it really. All right, I think they look pretty good. A little, a little clumpy for my liking, but the length is really nice. And then the last pl product, and then the last product I'll be trying today is the Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink Lipstick. Now I have seen these being swatched all over Instagram and oh my God, the color story is just ooh, right up my alley. So I picked up the shade 007 Partner in Crime and going by the title of Satin Ink, I am assuming this is going to be a satin finish, but with a bit of longevity. Oh my God, this nude color is just speaking to me. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's just, it's me. It's me. All right, let's go in with a bit of lip liner first. I'm using the Rimmel Lip Liner in Tiramisu. I feel like this shade is coming off a little bit more pink, like rosy than what it looks in the swatch but the formula is so smooth. 
And I love the little pointy tip on the applicator. It makes it nice and easy to get around the lip line. All right, well, this is the finished makeup look. I am pretty happy with how it turned out. My favorite product would have to be probably the lipstick. I'm still a little unsure about the eyeshadow, the NYX, bear with me. I'll have to test out a little bit more, but I am pretty happy with how it ended up looking in the end once I applied the rest of my face. The coverage actually looks quite nice. Very natural, like it says. So that could be a winner, we'll see. Make sure you keep an eye out for a speed reviews in the future where I will give an update on these products and let you know how they've actually been going once I start to test them out more. It'll be interesting to see how that e.l.f. primer goes with other foundations because it just, look, I don't know if it was the mix of that with the Maybelline or it's just the Maybelline on its own. Like, I think it's just the Maybelline, but it'll be interesting to see how the e.l.f. primer goes. I think I had lipstick on my teeth that whole time. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, well if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I would love to have you around. You can also come and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I will have my socials linked in the description box below. If you want to watch more Aussie drugstore tutorials, I will have some on the screen for you now. Other than that, I hope you are all having a fabulous day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.